I always had this dream of skiing down to my surfboard on the same day. And of course, being back in, in New York and in that area, that really wasn't possible. California was the only place possible that I could do that. I had never been more than maybe 30 or 40 miles north of Boston. I had never been west of Philadelphia. I had never taken a plane flight in my life. But I had this dream about going to California. And just before I left, I met this young lady who wanted a ride to California. And so I got my diploma at two o'clock in the afternoon. And at six o'clock that night, this friend and I were driving to California. And I so you, and you know that could have gone either way, all right? Yeah. So fast forward, Mary and I just celebrated our 40th anniversary. Oh. So we had this epic journey, you know, across the United States and we got to San Francisco and we ran out of money. And we were living in the marina in the back of our station wagon and Mary and I were looking for jobs. I just, by luck, found a job working at a wine shop and I totally fell in love with wine and I couldn't get enough of it. I studied it, I tasted it, I spent half my salary on buying wine and tasting it. And I went to work for a winery in Livermore called Stony Ridge Winery. And in 1977, Mary and I had our first uh, harvest. And we totally fell in love with winemaking. I mean, we knew right off the bat that this is what we wanted to do for the rest of our lives. And so from that point on, every single Saturday and Sunday, we drove like you did yeah. all over California looking for property. And then I was walking through the tasting room at Stony Ridge Winery, and I met this guy there, and he said that he knew about a piece of property that could be for sale up in Sonoma. Mary and I, that next Saturday, we drove up to Glen Ellen, and as soon as we came up over that ridge, just like you were explaining, I had this incredible intuition how could that this, be? this we was got the same damn yeah, story. That this was going to be the place where our family was going to be successful, and that what and we had seen dozens of properties. Didn't do one soil test. Didn't 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 do anything scientific. I just had this incredible this is vision. Exactly the same story. Yeah. So we drove down the driveway. We knocked at the door, and this hippie doctor. I mean. I'm from New York, mm -hmm. and if you had a perfect vision of what a hippie looked like, that's what walked out of the door, and his name was Doc Flynn. Oh. And we engaged in this conversation with him, and within two minutes he told me that the last thing he would ever do was sell the property. <laughs> but we did engage with him, and he, and he invited us back for a, a party a few months later on Memorial Day. And so after the, the second day, he came out and we were camping out on the back lawn in a tent. He came and shook the tent and stuck his head and he goes, Mike, are you still thinking about buying this place? I said, I sure am. And he goes, okay, meet me at noon and we'll talk about the deal. So in those couple of hours, I drove down to the bottom of the hill in Glen Ellen, put a dime in the payphone, called my dad and said, what do you think I should do? And he goes, well, why don't you get a contract and see if you can get him to sign it? And so I went down to a real estate office and I got this one page tear off contract, just a stock generic contract, went back up to the, uh, to the ranch and there he was sitting up there completely naked, laying out in the sun. And when I sat down, he goes, son, let's do a deal. So for three hours, we bitched and we negotiated and we went back and forth about the, about the deal. And he finally signed it on Saturday afternoon. Wednesday morning, he calls me up and he goes, hey, <laughs> deal's off. I changed my mind. And it was like, hmm, okay. But I had this piece of paper that the guy signed. Mm -hmm. So I had a friend out here that I went to college with who was a lawyer. And I gave him a call and I said, hey, what do you think? And he said, Mike, I, I think I can make this stick, but it's gonna take some time. Four and a half months, we negotiated and we, we just beat this guy down. And the day before Halloween, 
we signed the deal to, uh, to buy the property in separate rooms. We never talked to each other. And the next day, Mary and I moved on to the ranch on Halloween night, 1980.